Hello and welcome to my review of the Orc Looters. This box set will set you back £20. It really is one of the best sets uh, that Games Workshop produce and uh, one of the best sets for Orcs. For that £20, it's a multi-unit kit. So you can either build five looters or five burners. What I mean by that is um, you get the parts to build four looters with their death guns or four burners with their burners. Uh, you can also um, build a orc mech armed with a custom mega blaster, which looks like this. Um, which looks like this. So you could have one of these with these looters. I haven't done that. I've built one of these with a big shooter. And uh, the main reason is because uh, what I would suggest you do is if you're gonna buy this set, buy a box of Orc Boys as well uh, for £22.50. And then uh, that will allow you to use up these death guns. It will allow you to build five Burner Boys. And then you'll also have five Orc Boys uh, with a knob. Um, so that's the best way to, to get the most out of this uh, set is to use the uh, Orc Boys uh, kit to use up the remaining parts that you normally get with um, these looters. As always, we'll have a look at the models uh, individually, look at their detail, then we will do a load of size comparisons and finally we'll get into the uh, rules for the looters. So first things first is um, the def guns look pretty nice. They're on these harnesses. I think we're all aware now that orcs can't shoot for, well, to save their life. Uh, they're all got ballistic skill five and these looters are no different, but uh, I guess that they do like the DACA and they do like all these uh, big guns. I haven't drilled out the uh, barrels, apologies, um, but uh, I have taken off uh, most of the mold lines. I'm just seeing a mold line there that's <laughs> um, jutting out. But yeah, the, the main difficulty with these models is nothing to do with the uh, torso or the legs or the head. It's to do with this arm and connecting the big weapon harness because this harness connects onto the ammo hopper, which is fine. It's just that the uh, ammo harness has to connect above the arm and um, on three points of the, the gun the, the opposite side. So just bear that in mind um, that that's the trickiest part of this to get this gun harness thing. Um, on the orc itself. Anyway, you've got this one with uh, some kind of um, ballistic weapon. Uh, you've got this one with more of an energy weapon uh, with, a, with a rocket on the side that I've put on there, which is uh, quite cool with an energy coil. Uh, I've given this one a, a big shooter with a ammo run at the back. Again, need to drill out that um, barrel, but uh, I like that one because you've got loads of empty shells on the base there. You've got uh, this looter, another ballistic weapon uh, with a rocket on there. He's on a bit of a funny angle though, uh, but maybe he's, yeah, maybe that's to his advantage with a massive drum magazine. And then finally this one, which mo looks more like a, another LAS cannon type energy weapon uh, that they've uh, that they've affected. I guess this this orc is is aiming down. Maybe he's on a high place, about to pop a tank or something. Uh, got some energy. Um, coils there as well and a load of wiring I just think that that one works with that uh, last cannon type type weapon it does look a bit like an old uh, sort of chaos last cannon these weapons these old over the shoulder uh, large death guns are very reminiscent of the kind of Horus heresy um, you know heavy weapons that were uh, fully over the, the shoulder of the space marines not these man portable weapons that we have nowadays Okay, size comparisons then. Uh, let's just compare them with, I've got some other looters. This is another looter that I, I made from one of the other sets and these as well. I think nowadays they are bundled with the 32 mil bases. Uh, they used to be bundled with the 25 mil. So I'm getting quite a selection of uh, looters now. I think I've got 10 in the force, which is, which is all right. Size comparisons then, I'll get my knob out. He's right here. Uh, they are a fair bit smaller than the knob. If you just look at that, knob is a bit more chunky and taller, um, but I think the guns give them a bit more presence, especially if they won the 32 mil bases. Um, comparing them to uh, a war boss and a normal orc boy, 
they do look bigger than the Alt Boy because they're they're packing the the larger def guns. And then we've also got a, a Gretchen too. Um, so that's where they stack up. They are Orc Boy size, but they've got those big weapons. The final size comparison I like to make is just with Imperial models. So we've got Primaris Space Marine, Slime Arbo, and uh, a Legacy Space Marine there. As you can see, the Space Marine is taller than the normal Orc Boys, uh, and the Primaris, yeah, definitely dwarfs them. Uh, but the even the Astra Militarum, even Slime Arbo, I know he's on this uh, famed base there with an Orc head, so he goes quite well with Orcs. He is a little bit taller than them. Um, I think that's because of the nature of the Orcs, you know, being quite hunchback uh, in their um, posture. Okay, so the final part of this review is the rule section. And uh, of course, they're all armed with these big heavy weapons, so you will find them in the heavy support area of the uh, Codex. Uh, they are a power points cost of a four and a points cost of 17 per model. Their stat line reads, they're a movement of 5 inches, weapon skill 3+, plus, ballistic skill 5+, plus, strength 4, toughness 4, 1 wound, 2 attacks, leadership 6, and a save of 6+. Plus. I've only got those t-shirt saves, guys. You can turn one of them into a spanner, uh, and they have the same stat line, except... And they have exactly the same stat, stat line. You get no benefit there with the stat line, uh, even though it's a separate entry. The unit contains five looters. It, it can include up to five additional looters for a power rating of plus four, or up to ten additional looters, a power rating of plus nine. For every five models in the unit, a spanner can take the place of one looter. Each looter is armed with a def gun and stick bombs. Each spanner is armed with stick bombs and either a custom mega blaster, big shooter, or rocket launcher. So hence why I've got that, that big shooter in there. I wanted to keep the range this time rather than drop down to the Mega Blaster because they are all equipped with uh, heavy weapons even though the Big Shooter is an assault weapon. <laughs> so the Big Shooter works as normal, it's a range 36 inch, assault 3, strength 5, AP 0 and a damage of 1. The Def Gun is a 48 inch range, heavy D3, strength 7, AP minus 1 and a damage of 2. It's got an ability whereby before a unit fires this weapon roll once for the number of attacks and use this for all death guns fired by the unit until the end of that phase. That's both a blessing and a curse. If you do get a three on the D3, you're going to be getting three shots for the number of death guns you've got. Um, so if there's four of them, you're going to be get, pumping out 12 shots at strength seven at a 48 inch range, which is very decent and with damage two. The custom Mega Blaster, if you choose to give that to your spanner, it's a 24 inch range, assault one, strength eight, AP minus three, and a damage of D3. But if you roll a one, then uh, it's going to suffer one mortal wound you can equip the spanner with a rocket launcher again it's a 24 inch range assault one it's strength eight again but it's a ap is only minus two and uh, it does however have a solid damage of three the stick bomb is a six inch grenade d6 strength three ap zero and a damage of one abilities here we go mob rule daka 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 and mechaniac at the end of your movement phase a spanner can repair a single friendly clan vehicle model within one inch that model regains one lost wound a model can only be repaired once per turn. Now it's really worth taking a spanner if you're gonna set these looters up next to your mech guns because of course, yeah, they are vehicles and you can repair their lost wounds. It might be worth doing that with their save of five plus and their uh, six wounds. If I took 10 of these, I'd definitely put a mech gun or two uh, nearby and uh, be prepared to uh, start repairing those uh, mech guns. But you've got to have them within one inches of uh, the spanner. Keywords, Orc, Infantry, Looters. So there you go. I think that they are clearly a, a vulnerable unit with a, with a save of six plus and one wound. And it doesn't matter how many shots you get with these Looters. At the end of the day, their ballistic skill is only five plus. However, their range is very decent at 48 inch. And if they do hit home, they do have the chance of causing some uh, serious damage especially if you're within 36 inches and you have that big shooter, that big shooter can add to um, the total damage output. Looking at this, if you roll lucky, you're gonna get 15 shots there at 36 inch range, which is, a, which is a nice amount of shots to pump out for just a small unit. But like I said, they are vulnerable. Uh, you might, it, might be worth, um, it might be worth taking a, a big unit of 10 of them. But what do you guys think of the looters? Uh, are you tempted, like I said, with the flyers? Uh, are you tempted to? Are you tempted to take orc boys that just still can't hit a barn door? Um, or would you rather invest those points into your into your knobs, into your megramed knobs, uh, or just units that are 
fantastic in close combat. Please do put your thoughts and opinions down below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. For Gork and Mork.